Good morning everybody, it is Friday today, I keep doing that every time I start my vlogs, I'm like, what day is it? It's Friday, and today we've got quite a nice day planned, so I thought I'd vlog it. We are going to go on a lovely dog walk to our favourite place, which we have been on a vlog before, called Ossley Park. When I first got Buttercup, my car... We went there and Bluebell loved it. So we're thinking we're going to go there again today. I let Bluebell have a swim in the river. It's her favourite thing to do and she deserves a little swim. We're going to do that. I'm going to bring you two in Buttercup too. I love vlogging in my car so much. I don't know if you've noticed, but I love it. I don't know what it is. I just feel very comfortable. And do you know what? Cars give us such a nice light. I don't know about you, I don't know if you tried to take a picture in a car or something, I haven't yet, but car lighting is lovely. I actually was sitting on my desk over there with Riverdale, I've paused it because it would be a bit loud and I had to come sit here because the lighting was just horrific and some sports have decided to join my face today, which is a little bit sad, well actually they've, they've been joining all week, which is a bit annoying, but yeah, I was just looking a little bit worse for wear over there, so I decided to come over here, I've got my lunch on my lap, which I'm going to eat in a second, otherwise it's going to get very cold and that happens all of the time. I've just got, I thought I'd have a little bit of a cheeky Friday lunch. I've got some wholemeal bread with one of my barbecue beans. I love them. I found them in um, Asda the other day, if you watched that vlog when we did a big food shop. They are the greatest. If you haven't tried a barbecue bean, you need to try a barbecue bean. You probably can just put barbecue sauce on your normal beans. And I've got some cheese on top and some scrambled eggs. Felt like having a bit of a cheeky, different lunch today. So, yeah, I'm going to have that in a second when I finish my little chat with you. But I just thought I'd say good morning. Intro my little vlog. We're going to have a nice chill day. The other reason which is annoying that my face decided to have a bit of a spotty week is this evening I think I'm going to do my skincare routine with you because I have been meaning to do it for ages. And the reason why I have, I think, all these spots have arrived, they're not very obvious right now, but they are when I don't have my CC cream on. I think I had a bit of a reaction to a skin product that one of the makeup artists used on me this week at one of my shoots, so yeah. I think that's why they arrived, but it's okay. We, we all have those days. We all have a spotty day. I just haven't had quite as much of a annoying breakout as this for a while, but you know, we can't all win. <laughs> and in a second when I finish my food, before we go on our walk, I don't know if you've noticed what I'm wearing here, but it's a new lounge colour. It, it kind of looks similar to the purple, but it doesn't in real life. I don't know what colour it looks to you right now, but it's a dusty pink. And you know how much I love a dusty pink. It is the greatest colour. So I'm going to chat with you on the new collection, because I did shoot it yesterday, so I've got all of the colours. And they are lovely. Anyway, I'm going to eat up my food because it's probably cold now. Watch a bit more Riverdale. I have been re-watching Riverdale, in case you're wondering. I have watched all of the series, but I am a little bit obsessed with Jughead. I haven't spoke about this for a while, but the Jughead is in my life again. And I am re-obsessed. However, the new season is coming out. Season series? Season is coming out. I think on the 10th of October on CW. I don't know what that means about when it'll be up on Netflix, but hoping, I think it's the day after they put it on Netflix, I'm not sure. But I'm very excited, and I'm extremely excited about the fact that means it's gonna be like peak autumn, so we're gonna be cozying about with a jughead at a Riverdale. If you don't like Riverdale, this is gonna mean nothing to you, but to me it means a lot. Okay, so I've laid out the lounge. So this is the old one. I'm just laying out to compare lengths. These are the three new colors. So we've got a dusty pink, we've got a dark gray, and then we've got a khaki. The reason why I got these out, obviously I've got the dusty pink leggings on, but the reason why I got the old purple ones out was one, to show you the colour difference. So as I was saying, they do look similar, like sometimes, but they're not similar at all. So this is the purple and then this is the pink. And then lengthwise, I don't know if you found this with the old lounge, but a lot of people did say to me they found them quite short. Now I liked them being that length, they kind of sat on me about there. But I know some people who are taller didn't like it. I'm five foot five. But these ones are a lot longer. So if you see, this is what the new one's like. And to compare the old to the new length, 
this is the old length and then it's just slightly longer however if you do want them obviously this length again I just roll mine up I quite like having a bit of an ankle out so I just have a bit of a roll so it's not an issue but obviously I know for taller people a lot of people said to me especially on the peach plan community that they were a little bit short so that's a good thing but other than that we've got the cropped hoodies again we've got the crop tops again and we've got the leggings also I do find with these crop tops they are slightly longer than the old ones just slightly but yeah that's just my opinion I think they are though but you know we never know everyone has different opinions I think what I'm gonna do is pop you here and just give you a show of each one also I just want to apologize for my wet hair okay I didn't really specify and I don't have massively greasy hair I did just wash it actually I just washed out my um my hair mask so that's why it's still wet but anyway this is the dusty pink on I rather love it I think this one's my favorite color however I do really like the khaki I wear an extra small in all of this range as well as the old slounge range yeah I would say they are quite large fitting they are lounge wear which means obviously you do want it comfy but they are quite large especially the leggings I find there's there's just a lot of stretch in them usually I am a small in Gymshark bottoms but in slounge I am an extra small so I would personally say to size down in the bottoms but yes anyway this is the dusty pink I love it it's lovely I just love this color I think it's very flattering I love a dusty pink <laughs> anyway I'm gonna quickly pop on the khaki and the gray I might bring in the old gray color as well to show you the difference between the new gray and the old gray BRB. So this is the khaki I like it actually because it's quite a subtle soft khaki if you get me. I know a lot of people did say that they wish there was a khaki slounge, so we now have one, which is wonderful. This is the how the little hoodie looks, the same as the old ones. I'm not quite sure where my khaki crop top's gone, but if you look, the top is a little bit longer. So yeah, I mean, it's personal preference, but I just prefer the hoodie, personally, a little bit. I like a bit of a sleeve, you know? And then, finally, this is the new grey. So this is the old grey, it's a lot lighter. I think I actually prefer the, the darker grey to be honest I didn't actually wear this light grey that much I don't know what it is but I just think I find this one a bit more flattering I don't know it's just colour preference lounge are just the comfiest perfect airport outf outfit perfect driving outfit just perfect anything outfit really I mean I always wear the leggings and I often like wear different tops but it's nice to have a matching set sometimes too but you can like mix it with just one of your normal tops you know and it looks a little bit loungy chic I don't know. Anyway, I think we're going to go to the park. The other thing I was going to say, I also did a workout this morning, but obviously I'm filming my week of workouts, so it's a bit confusing. I forgot to tell you, but I will pop it into this vlog now. Forever high, love, always been the bad one, riding just to feel light, screaming, dreaming, feeding fast. workouts vlog which will be my next vlog I've been very confused this week trying to work out what's where but <laughs> that outfit I wore in this workout is another new Gymshark thing it's in one of the new it's actually a new range of leggings and new vital seamless colors 
but that whole collection I'm going to do a haul for. I think it'll be the vlog after the next vlog. So the next vlog will be the week of workouts, then I'm going to do a seamless haul. But there's lots of new colours. Very exciting, a brand new legging design, very exciting thing. The workout was very good too. I mean, to be honest, I'm quite tired now because I've that was my fifth weight session of the week. So it's my last one of the week, which is nice. And I'm gonna take the weekend to chill from the gym. Probably still do my hit circuit on Sunday Eve though. And also one more thing, I don't know the release date of these slounge yet. However, I will update on my Instagram. So make sure, keep up with my Instagram because I'll probably announce it on my stories when I know. But I think it's gonna be soon relatively soon but I don't know yet and I don't know the prices but I'm guessing they'll be the same as the old slouch prices so I dropped that in there I forgot to tell you and if you have any questions about any of the new collection let me know and I will get back to you but yes anyway we're gonna go welcome me hello guys how are you doing we are off on our walk I have now actually put some makeup on and done my hair because I was feeling a bit spotty and not great. Me too. A bit worse for wear. Drive past the market. Oh, yeah, it's strawberry for pen. <laughs> Come on in, oh, yeah, it's strawberry for pen. It's all that banana for pen. Do you know what? I always wish that I could know what she'd sound like if she talked. Like, what do you think she'd be like? Hey, guys, I'm Bluebell. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why does she sound dopey like that? Who <laughs> does? <laughs> That's like, like, what? That's like, like what? Pluto. You'd have like a cute little high pitched girly voice. I am Bluebell. Getting more and more just on you. <laughs> I don't want you in the vlog. <laughs> we need to come up with some car games to play when we're in when we're vlogging in the car. It's a new venture for this car vlogging. I love it. lovely Ossley Park. Doesn't really look like London, does it? I want one of these trees in my garden one day. <laughs> isn't that a nice tree? Look at it, it's just hanging over the river. It's a willow, isn't it? I want a pond and a small willow one day, hopefully. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> so we have arrived. It's lovely. It's actually a bit of a nicer temperature today than when we last came, because when we last came it was boiling, but you know, can't complain when there's blue in the sky there's no blue in the brain there's not really much blue in the sky today but there's not too much blue in the brain oh 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 i've lost blue belt wait blue i'm just currently waiting for niall to have a wee <laughs> and then i think we're gonna head to the river and try and get bluebell back into the swim of things <laughs> back into the swim of things not swing the way you look the way you like a little seal. <laughs> oh, she can't find the stick. Oh, you can't find it. Bless you. <laughs> Look, it's a little, oh, she's brought, bringing me a leaf instead. Okay then, you bring the leaf. <laughs> and now, it's rolling time. Come on, give us a roll. There we go, get your roll on. Come on, we've got to dry off. Good evening, everybody. We are now home from our little adventure this afternoon. And it's quite a bit later. Do you know what? The evenings are feeling very much like autumn, winter. They are feeling, they, we get dark now at about half past six. It used to be 10 p.m. Don't know what's going on over here, but it's starting to feel like autumn. It's actually September tomorrow, so you know. What I'm gonna do, Niall's at the gym, and then when he gets back, we're gonna sit down, have our dinner, and our G&Ts, and watch film. So, before that happens, I think I'm gonna do my skincare, because I have this makeup on now, and I don't want it. So, I'm gonna run through it with you quickly, and that's what I'm gonna do. BRB, let me just grab everything. Right, I've changed my mind. I was gonna do it in the other bathroom, but 
The reason why I didn't want to do it in our ensuite is because we still are waiting for the fitting of our main light in here to be fixed. So it's a bit of a dodgy lighting, doesn't look great, not the greatest, but we're just going to deal with it. I'm going to start by taking my makeup off. I am actually using a different makeup remover to the one I used in my last skincare thing. My skincare routine hasn't particularly changed m massively, however I know a lot of people I think missed the video where I did it because I've had quite a lot of questions about what it is now, what I do. And I feel like I've mastered my own skincare. Again, what I'd say is, I know some people when I did it last time said there was things I was doing wrong, but I really think it just depends person by person what works for you. I totally get what people are saying, but what I feel like is working for me at the moment is working. So, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with that. You are on a bit of a wonk. I can't get you quite right because you're resting very funnily on my sink. But we shall deal. But yes, the makeup remover is new. I actually am kind of mixing between this Kiehl's, they're both Kiehl's, but um, this one is like a cream and this one's kind of like a, an oily balm. Primrose oil, lavender essential oil. Mm, interesting. I think I'm going to, ooh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna use this one today. This is my new one. This one's actually running low. I do really love this one, but I wanted to give this one a go because apparently it's better. So this is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. Very fancy way of saying makeup remover. <laughs> I'm gonna pop on my rabbit ear headband first actually because that takes me back. We're going back to winter vibes. I look like Kung Fu Rabbit. <laughs> I'm just whapping it on. It's very oily this, it's a bit strange. I'm not sure how it feels yet but we just need to adjust don't we? We get stuck in our ways, our skincare ways and sometimes we just need to adjust. That's what I keep telling myself because I don't want to waste that ball. Right so I've just popped some water on my face and just kind of passed it with a flannel. Now we're gonna have a bit of a cleanse. So I have talked about this before, this is the Vanity Planet Cleansing Brush ultimate skin scar skin, skin spa cleansing brush i did actually work with them a while ago but um, yeah it's just very good it's from vanity planet and it looks like this and basically it's just my electronic cleanser so i don't use my hand and we get right in there right in those dirty bits you know those dirty areas right in the face and i am using this cleanser and I don't know if you watched my last skincare routine, but I bought Lydia Millen's beauty box a while ago when she first released it. So I actually still use, I think, most of the products that were in that box. I don't use the toner because I don't really use toner myself. But this was, was in the box and this is the, I have no idea how you pronounce that. Or more, have a look. That one, <laughs> that's the one I'm using. All of it is from Cult Beauty and Cult Beauty is just great. So I'm gonna pop a little bit on my face with some water and then I'm gonna give it a cleanse with my brush. You don't need the brush, but it is just kind of like a little bit of an extra detailed clean. I don't know if you remember, but I kind of had bumpy skin around my, my hairline and I, I changed up my hair care as well as my skincare, and this was when, when I started using all this stuff. Until this happened this week, which is lovely, and obviously it's going to happen when I'm talking to you about skincare. I didn't have any massive breakouts for the past month. So, you know, it has been great until now. So, next up we have, I feel like this is one of the greatest products when it comes to skincare. This was also in Lydia's box. Yeah, the next two products, the final two products, are both from Lydia's box. I don't think she does those boxes anymore, you know. She did uh, quite a few more releases since, but I don't think they exist anymore. But you can get all the products separately anyway from Cold Beauty, so it's fine. But this is the Alpha H Liquid Gold Glycolic Acid. And I use this usually like every other day. And what it says it does is it revitalizes and assists in firming the skin in a single application. But yeah, you just pop a little bit on a cotton pad and I'm just gonna kind of, it's, it's a weird formula to be honest because when I first got it, I thought that it was gonna, I don't know, it's not a cream and it doesn't foam and it smells quite kind of acidic but it just sits on your face and kind of soaks in, but it's great. I feel like this is one of the key products that's really helped me with my bumps on the old skin, you know? Okay, and once that's kind of sunk in, I usually leave about two to five minutes. I put on my last product, so I'm gonna leave it a little bit, but I'll show you the product 
first anyway and this is another thing that I absolutely love it's one of my like favorite things with my skincare it is the Luna Sleeping Night Oil by Sunday Riley. I literally am obsessed with this. I used to not be quite sure, but now I absolutely love it. And I really feel like it gives me quite a glow the next day. I don't know. You never really know what gives you what and, you know. But I think that this makes me a bit of a glowy gal. So this is much more kind of a thick product. Hang on. Give me two minutes and then... We'll put it on. It's a bit of a weird formula again, this one, but it's the opposite to the to the liquid gold. So basically, this says, Luna works throughout the night to deliver visibly more youthful looking luminous, even toned skin in the morning. It reduces the appearance of pores and wrinkles while visibly improving the signs of premature aged, fine lines, uneven texture, age, spots, dryness, and dullness. Basically, the wonder of products. So I just usually use like one pipette on my cheek on the other cheek and on my forehead it's kind of blue you look a little bit like a smurf but i don't mind and it smells quite herby it's quite it's quite homely i think i don't know if a product can be homely but that's what i think so that is basically all i do in the evening now and i just feel like i don't know if you can see my skin other than the absolute breakout here and i had a little breakout here it's just kind of completely cleared i i always got bumps along these these parts of my head but I just feel like it really works for me and I think with skincare you've really kind of got to find what works for you but I've done this for about I don't even know how many months now quite a few months and my skin's just feeling fabulous not right this second because <laughs> of this but other than that it just feels lovely and it I don't know I feel like I, I can trust my skin more if you know what I mean you know when you feel like a spot's popping out all the time I don't feel like that anymore. I'm, I feel like me and my skin are, are friends now because I'm taking care of her. Anyway, I'm gonna go and make a gin and tonic and I'm gonna make some dinner and we're gonna set up the film. I'll probably show you something. My food is currently in the microwave. I've actually got not a very pretty dinner, but it was supposed to be my lunch yesterday and I forgot to take it with me. So we're having it today because I don't want to waste it. Got my G&T. Tastes rather lovely. It tastes nicer than the ones we had the other day on my other vlog. I wasn't actually that keen on that gin with a spot of elderflower. It didn't taste like a spot of elderflower, did it? It tasted like flower. tasted like a flower. There was no elder. It was just flour. We've decided on our film. We're watching another thriller. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> People actually were asking, do we only watch horror films? No, we don't. However, together we seem to. <laughs> I actually like chick flicks quite a lot, but obviously he doesn't. So I have to compromise, have a bit of a thriller. Bit of a thrill. Thrill, but no, it's because we watched a YouTube video recommending must watch films, and this, this was one, is of, one them. of them. And we just did pick the thriller out of the list, that's, that's yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so it's called The Invitation, it looks quite worrying. So I'm hoping it'll be better than the last horror we watched. That one was, was savage. They're all crap. <laughs> Why are we watching it then? This isn't a horror, this is like a this is less of a horror. This is a thrill. What's going on with my face? This is a bit of a thrill. My skincare, that's why I'm shiny. You want to know the secret to my perfect, flawless, spotless skin? Doesn't think you're anything, it's focusing on me, love. Do you want to know my secret? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> he doesn't even moisturise. This is more like it. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Sex in the City 2. This is more my kind of vibe. So how did you find, what's it called again? The invitation. the invitation. How did you find it? I really liked it. I did. I thought it was good, but I feel like they never leave me satisfied. They always leave me a little bit disturbed. A bit. It's a thriller. Yes. It's meant to be a disturbing. Thriller. I just, I don't find they have much of a storyline. And I like a story, like Sex no, and that the City one was... 2. No, but I, I feel like there could have been like another half an hour of explaining to do. You wanted more That's gore, That's what I want. You? No, you I want... didn't want more gore. I wanted an explanation, conclusion. You knew more about like cults and what cults are supposed to be than you immediately yeah, like cult on. this one. It's all about a cult and it bubbles and it simmers and the tension just rises and then you think it, he's imagining it and then he's not and then eventually like it all breaks the loose at the end. Oh, Dave. How? 
dare you? I'm getting red. I'm not being in your vlogs anymore. See you, bye. <laughs> That's it, you've done it. You rely on me to bring the gold to your vlogs. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, I've gone pink. My battery just died, but I'm back and I'm not in a laughing fit anymore. But to conclude invitation, it was a good thriller however i just i never feel satisfied with sex at the city too we get a bit of a story we get an explanation we get a bit of love we don't get any love in thrillers bit of sex in the city too bit of big bit of carry bit of a what's her best friend called the funny one can't remember Some Miles too engrossed to finish the vlog with me, but I think we're gonna end it here. Hope you enjoyed this little Friday vlog. Hope you're having a lo lovely Sunday or Monday, whatever day it is. Happy day. Thank you so much for watching, and we will hopefully see you in the next video. Actually, Niall won't be in the next video, because the next video is my week of workouts, and he hasn't joined me. Actually, he might be in the HIIT workout on the Sunday. We haven't done that yet, because it's Friday. I'm not doing that again. You laughed at me when I did that as well. <laughs> <laughs> he will do it with me. You'll see him in the next video. <laughs> I can't.